sold the house, bought a boat, refitted the boat, ready to go sailing. Okay, y'all. You know, dirt and grime are just part of life. And normally we don't show you a lot of dirt and grime. We kind of clean things up before we show it. But today I'm going to show you something really nasty. And you know, showing your dirt and grime like this, it's like showing your underwear, your dirty underwear in public. So hope it doesn't gross you out too much. Um, but I am going to clean uh, the mystery bilge on Isabella. It's a little bilge. We think it's where our water tank has a little bit of overflow, but um, it has gotten really, really nasty. I like it when you show me nasty. I have to warn you, this next scene is not for the faint of heart or for young children. So this is the access to the mystery bilge. And I'm going to shine this light down here. Hopefully I won't drop it. And there is the nasty. Can you see it? Yuck. I'm going to vacuum it out. I'm going to scrub with Dawn, rinse, and vacuum again. Here we go. All right, y'all. I got my trusty Borg light on so I can see what's down in there. And I'm going to go down under. Here we go. A little bit of Dawn. And some scrubbing. So I made it all wet down there and clean. And I'm gonna vacuum that back up. I do know how to handle a hose. What do you think? Not too bad. Didn't smell. Nasty though. And now, some rinsing. Let me see if I can get it in the hole. That's my line. Hey sweetie, what's up? Well, I hate to tell you, but the LED light in the VIP is going out. It's another thing to do. Oh boy. The problem with LED fixtures is if part of it goes out, you have to really replace the whole fixture, unless you have a socket for those LED bulbs. Some of our lights do. This particular one, which maybe I'll turn it off, I don't know if it'd be better, has lost half of its LED output. So we thought we'd replace it with a Florida based company, Wave One. Looks like Steve is screwing it fast and furious. I believe he's done this before. Test this for installation. There's the red. And the white works good. Got the new light uh, wired in here. So. Here it is, all installed. Got the nice red light and the much brighter white light. Hey baby, what's up? Well, 
back at you. I think our shelves and our medicine chests need to be lined. Oh boy, sounds like a job for me. We have several medicine chests on Isabella. This one happens to be in the aft shower. And I am going to put some dry deck tile in there to um, help make this area nice and clean and neat. The first thing I'm going to do is make a template uh, so that I don't just waste those lovely deck tiles. I found some craft paper at the Dollar Tree store and I am using that to make a template. So here we go. I unhooked the dry deck tile so I would only have one tile at a time to cut. Here we go. They're fairly easy to cut so that's nice, easy to work with. One down, three more to go. And there's the finished product, all snapped together and ready to go in that medicine chest. And it fits perfectly. I'm ready to do the other four. Guess what? What? That, that zinc needs, needs to be checked. checked. What's that object to the right of the compass? This beautiful looking used zinc has been on for six months. And I'm absolutely thrilled that the galvanic isolator works. Our previous zinc without the isolator was used up in two months, completely gone. This is six months old and uh, it's still not in bad shape. We did go ahead and replace it. We're finally leaving Brunswick Landing Marina. Uh, nice place, some nice folks, but it's time to move south. And we're backing out and headed to uh, Florida. Approaching this beautiful bridge. Love it. Its clearance is well over a hundred feet. It's almost 200. There we go. And we are clear. Look, they're waving goodbye.
We sail during the day but motor at night and sure enough about 3 a.m. on our way south to uh, Florida our motor conked out. We were really rocking and rolling. The swells were such that um, things were just being tossed around not only us in the cockpit but down below as well. Fortunately we we're only about four miles offshore. It took at least three hours to get a tow and here we are being towed in about six something in the morning. Uh, we are now at a uh, marina and trying to fix the motor. It's beautiful weather here in Ponce de Leon Inlet and who knew it's also race week in Daytona. So we've seen the Goodyear blimp and we've even seen the Blue Angels fly by. Exciting.